and she checked. She said, oh, let me see what this zoning mean. And swamp, and then tree underwater. So I've said, oh, I've learned a lot. I'm so glad I did. And we're so grateful for having people, public servants like that, working at the property appraiser, tax collector, because they hear the horror stories when people yes. call them after they've gotten something very bad. And so it's too late. To avoid that. You know, that's one of the things I try to do too, is show people the correct way to do things because by the time you call me and you've already done it, it's a little too late. You know, you it's need too to late. ahead of time. And I'm so glad you learned that during the class. It's not okay. Good. Well, hi everyone. I'm Pat Brumley here in Aruba. I have taken the, the course uh, with the Queen of Tax Deeds. I took mine in Broward County in Fort Lauderdale in June. I learned a number of things, but one of the most valuable things I've learned that saved me uh, probably close to $2,000 was uh, do your due diligence, D-U-E, diligence. I had an experience with Volusia, uh, oh, Volusia County is where I used to live too, but I had an experience with Alachua County. I called the Alachua County appraiser's office to look up a partial that I had saw on eBay. When she looked up the partial, she informed me that the partial was swap land and tree underwater land, 43 acres. And I was in shock because I actually wanted to get my 40 acres, but Unfortunately, it was only appraised at $400. You couldn't build on the property. You couldn't live on the property. And she said, most likely the zoning would not come through. And had I not done my due diligence that I learned in Sandra Edmonds' course, I never would have known that the property was swamp land. I would have thought I was buying just regular land that I could use for commercial purposes. But luckily I learned to check the zoning out. And that's something I've been in real estate for a long time. That's something that I've learned. And something well, that- about your real so estate bad. background. You have a real estate license as well, right? Yeah, I have a real estate license, had it since uh, 2001. So I've had it, but that's something too, you know, that uh, you learn every day. I'm not open to learning, but when I took your class, gosh, you have so much energy and you give so much information, additional information, certain things you know, but it's good when someone tells you. And actually due diligence has different meanings in different settings. So you're never too old to, to learn. And I'm 68. And I'm glad that I, I'm, number one, I'm glad I took your course. But it's a way that you can leave family members um, an inheritance of land. And it's a way, too, that I'm glad, too, because I want, I'm still looking for land i purchased some in monroe county with uh with with your help and i'm here in aruba and i'm doing it all online and uh thanks to you so this is real for people who want to know is it real yes i'm real i'm right here sitting in a uh, condo and uh and you can check it out i'm in waikiri uh condos here in aruba and this is a real situation and i'm living here retired here and i'm working here too but i love it but I